Well, Phil, back to Premiership action this weekend, but the boys are coming in on the back of two very good European performances. Yeah, um, you know, they, they put some great effort in over the two, two games, showed our real quality, and I think that's um, something we've got to look forward to kicking on from, um, making sure that we match those performances, if not better than them. Obviously, Wasp are a side you know well. You've scored in a final against them. It's, uh, it's going to be a game that you, you know you'll be tested in. Yeah, uh, you know, certainly from a back's point of view, the way I look at it, you know, they've got threats across the pitch, so we've got to make sure we're, we're ready to, to look after those threats and then actually you know, put a bit of pressure on them with, us, with our attack and with our skill as well. A bit like the league campaign, it's been a bit frustrating for you personally, the injury up at Worcester, but you're back flying. Monday night we showed what you're all about. Yeah, uh, it's nice to get out there and have a run around. It's been, it's been a while, actually. I um, haven't played a lot of rugby, but uh, you know, been training hard, working hard with the physios and the rehab, but uh, to get back fit. And obviously when we're out there doing our 15 on 15, I'm enjoying it, running around like a spring chicken. When you look around the squad, though, the competition now, particularly in your spot now, yeah. you've got a certain British lion racked up. Uh, yeah. it, it's there, isn't it, right across the board, and it's bringing the best out of everyone. It is, yeah, and I think you know that's part of that squad mentality here. I think we've we've always strived to push each other, whether it's someone in the same position you or you know a fellow back. And we try and push each other's qualities and make sure that we get the most out of each other because that's you know it's ideally going forward. We, you know, it's really important for us. Um, I think you'll see that through the year. It's a tough year, and we've got to use the squad well. Until Bristol a few weeks ago, Wasps were the last side to win here, and that you know their threat that they, they pose. When you look, what have you talked about this week in, in terms of what, what should we be aware of? Yeah, like I said earlier, they've got some really dangerous backs, um, and it's it's trying to keep their their dangers out of the game, and then keeping the ball ourselves and putting our game on them, really really pressuring them. Obviously, conditions might play a bit of a factor there, and uh, we look to control that uh, as well as we can. In your own perspective, how how is how much are you enjoying life still here? You know, it's, you know, you've, you've been here so long. Is it still the same buzz about the place? Is it a different buzz to when perhaps when you first racked up? Oh yeah, definitely a different buzz. Um, but it's still enjoyable. I think it's, it's it's a little bit more focused now. I think, and and that suits me because you know I, I, I tend to lay back a little bit and relax. But um, you know, we get the focus right now, and I think that's that's really important for us. Um, you know, I still enjoy getting out on the pitch with the lads, still enjoy being part of the change room, so long may it continue. We speaking to the boys, the expectation levels are obviously there a lot higher, aren't they? And they were annoyed after Bristol. You know, they were in a great position but didn't didn't see it through. Yeah, I think I think just you know, a pattern from our from our early early games this season was, you know, patchy performances. We were putting like 30, 40 minutes together and then sitting back for the rest of the game. I think that's something that we've addressed in the last two games it's just making sure we keep that focus those 80 minute performances exactly what you need at this stage uh, against quality size like Wasps and this game obviously sandwiches European blocks but you can literally go after it you know it's a one-off isn't it well yeah if you look at it that way it's a one-off and I think you know guys will be looking to maintain their form as well um, and push their push their chances to play in Europe I think you know there's another two huge games coming around the corner so everyone's got to put their hands up you better than most will know the home factor. How much is the home factor pivotal to, to the Chiefs? Oh, it, it, it is big. I mean, you know, even Monday nights we get good crowds here for the A-League um, and they make themselves heard and, it's, you know, a Premiership home game is, is fantastic to be part of it. We have plenty of support, you know, the crowd are, the crowd are great here. They get really behind us and, we've, you know, we owe them a performance really to, so that they can get behind us and they can get G'd up with what we're producing on the pitch.